Here's a quick look at the Copen's wet dry vacuum and blower. Um, I wasn't aware of this brand Cobents, but I looked it up and uh, apparently they're a uh, German company that manufactures their vacuums in Mexico. So that's good to know. I have a uh, 2.5 gallon size and it has 2.5 horsepower. They do make it in other sizes. I did see it in a 2 gallon size and all the way up to a 20 gallon size. Here's the on and off button. And it comes with this vacuum tube and two attachments. A little skinny one here and a more flat one here. <clears throat> so to use the vacuum, you plug it in here. And if you want to use the blower function, you plug the tube in here. All right, so I'm going to open it. I did uh, vacuum it. I did do some uh, vacuuming prior to this video. Uh, it comes with a filter that's uh, uh, changeable. has this little rubber gourmet thing. As you can see, it picked up all this dirt here on my floor mat. Uh, the purpose of uh, my use is for a garage vacuum that doesn't take enough uh, take up a lot of space and also for my uh, car interior especially the uh, car floor mats so I wouldn't have to visit the uh, car wash as often so I'm gonna demonstrate it now so it does get a little loud so let's see how it works head is useful to get in the nooks and crannices and uh, this one is probably more useful um, I will say that my uh, floor mat is very dirty and this type of uh, flooring is hard to pick up dirt on See, it's not the issue of insufficient power it's just that the type of uh, material uh, that this format is made out out of it's really hard to pick up dirt and stuff but it does work and let's test the blower function Say the floor function works pretty good as well uh, it's definitely not as powerful as a professional vacuum that you get at the car wash um, but I think it's sufficient for my needs it also comes with a wall mount which I've already installed so I'm gonna show you how it installs actually how it clips on Alright, there is the wall mount. And it clips on with these two tabs. It's secured by three screws. And there you go. And there is a little hook here that you're supposed to hook your wires to, like so. And the top groove here, which one reviewer said didn't know what that was for, the top groove is actually to hold the uh, vacuum tube securely. Um, I'm gonna post some um, pictures
pictures of it on a wall so you have a better idea. Overall, I would probably give this a five star rating. I really like it. I like the compact size because my garage is kind of small and I think it does the job done and I think for 30 some odd dollars, it's well, well worth it. All right, thanks. All right, we're taking a quick look at this two and a half gallon uh, vacuum, kind of an inexpensive unit. Uh, it doesn't come with a heck of a lot. It has a fairly short hose. The hose is flexible, but fairly stiff. It's not the most flexible one. Yeah, it's not the least. Uh, it has a fairly good design where you have to twist the hose to lock it in and out, so at least it doesn't easily pull out of the vacuum as you move it around and use it, which is you know, a bonus, I would say. It comes with just two attachments. There's a crevice tool and this wider tool, a little simple serration on there. And on this end, you could put the hose here to use the unit as a small blower instead of as a vacuum. The inside of it, um, one of the things I'm not impressed with is the fitment of the canister to the motor head. And I think the reason that it has such a poor fit there is because there should be some kind of a rubber seal inside of this track, and there is not. So that, I think, makes for a poor seal to the canister, and it might even potentially hurt the suction power. I'm not sure. Also not overwhelmed by this simple paper filter that's just rubber banded on there, but that is the filter. But for a simple, easy to clean little vacuum, I do appreciate that the inside surfaces of this are smooth, so this is going to be much easier to spray or wipe out. I have a different small vacuum this is replacing that has just a lot of little nooks and crannies inside, which is more difficult for cleaning. It's very easy to put that on. We're going to quick vacuum up a little mess that the cat made over here. And uh, let's see how it works. Normal vacuum volume. It's loud, but not too bad. Decently well. Uh, 10 foot cord is a little on the short side, but for a small unit, it's not that unusual. And uh, you know, overall, not too bad. One more quick note this hanging bracket that they give you isn't too shabby. It just hooks onto the back uh, tabs where the attachments are, so pretty easy with one hand to just set that on there really sure you know what that part is for but that uh, sits up on there just fine so it's easy to hang that on a garage wall or uh, put it where it's easy to just grab it on and off handed no trouble